married at first sight star Mia Bali is finally coming clean about her shocking honeymoon arrest. The newlywed was arrested at the airport on stalking charges earlier in the season of the Lifetime series, produced by Kinetic Content, while on the way to her honeymoon with new husband Tristan Thompson. While in last week's episode she claimed to Thompson she knew nothing about the charges or the man she was accused of stalking. Bally finally came clean to her husband and the world about her arrest in Tuesday's all-new episode. But is it too late for her relationship with Thompson? She does know the accuser, and they did have a brief relationship, Thompson revealed to the relationship experts that set the couple up initially. And this is why she was embarrassed to tell me. And even though I appreciate her honesty, it still really hurt that it took her all week just to come clean and tell me. Bally, when talking to Dr. Jessica Griffin, tearfully explained her arrest was related to a man she rebounded with after her most recent breakup with an ex. It was wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that, she said of the relationship. I don't have contact with that person, I don't care to associate myself with that person at all. But I'm hoping it hasn't ruined the chance for me and Tristan in the future. As for lying about the arrest at first, calling it an instance of mistaken identity. Bally said she went into self-preservation mode denying things because from a point of view these are not real. These are fake. She continued, if I continued to talk about the person who made these charges, it would just get blown out of proportion, so I just was like, I have no association with this person, none whatsoever. This is where the lying came in, and I will totally own up to it. I did lie. Dr. Griffin was understanding of Bally's explanation. I think that she is embarrassed, I think that she's been humiliated and I think that she's terrified, she told the camera. And it makes perfect sense why Mia's story changed over time. So we want to take this opportunity to get to the bottom of everything, and at the end of the day, we want to support this couple in any way that we can. The other half of the couple, however, was pretty shaken about his marriage. I felt like I found, a lifelong partner, with Mia, but instead she lied to me. I feel betrayed, he told Pastor California to me, marriage should be built on trust and honesty, but Mia's been lying to me, and it's hardly been a week. With that trust broken, I'm just not sure if I'm able to stay in this marriage. The two decided to stay together even after Bally's admission, but it will be interesting to see how their relationship evolves.